Hi, welcome to this Tarot Love Reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I was getting um, both you and your person's energy, but completely different. Um, <clears throat> let's start with your person, as you always want to know. Um, I feel that definitely I got Tiferet, which is in the Kabbalah, the, the heart space. And... Um, so it's like on the tree of life with Tiferet is a Sephirah, it Sephirod? Anyway, all pathways lead to the heart, which is the Kabbalah is the connected to the uh, tree of life, which is connected to how you live on the planet. Everything should lead to love. So I think that everything that your person is doing is constantly leading back to their heart space, back to you. And why i feel this is happening at this time it's because it's like they logicated love for example it's like um yeah i love this person without telling you right uh but uh my children are very important and i want to see my children and i don't want to disappear point the family with the religion they logicated right but <clears throat> You can't make the equation for that because they logicated it such as like, well, I'm at this job, this job's okay, but if I go to another job, uh, it might be okay and I get more money. They kind of looked at love in this logical sense. So it's like high, heightening up the love of like, no, it's bigger than that because I feel that what your person is thinking about the future and um, things constantly thinking about you, watching you on your me social media, thinking about what they could do with you, all this kind of thing. And I'm like, is that just a logical thing of just like you can just put it in a box, put that person over there, put it how they're seeing the bigger picture of like, yeah, it was more than that. They're seeing long term, they're seeing holidays, they're seeing spending Christmas with you, they're seeing you with the kids, they're seeing all these kind of visions and it's like, it's kind of forcing them to see like, well, you do love this person, well, why the fuck didn't you open up? Why the fuck didn't you let them into your life? Why the fuck did you hold back? It's kind of like, we're waking them to what is, what the relationship was. Now, I say was, because your side, I feel, is completely different. Disconnect, I got, I heard properly today. I think, and I'll be blatant, is that you're feeling the same thing that the divine masculine is, but you're visualizing it with someone else, and not necessarily a new person. It's like you're getting ready for your next relationship, the divine feminines, man or woman, so you're like, yeah, okay, in the future, I, I do want a new person. I do want to get married. I still want to settle down. You know, this person is past. Your twin flame is going in the past. It's fading out, your twin flame. And the reason why you're doing that is because you've come to the realization that you tried everything that this person, your divine masculine, is now thinking about to achieve with that person, and it never worked. So you're now thinking about, okay, I still want that stuff. So I'm hoping to get it in the future. Some of you I was also getting is, interestingly enough, you've got uh, options. This divine feminine's got options. But the option that you're thinking about, not your twin flame. Yes, that is an option. But if you want to go back to them, I promise you at this divine time, they still slip back into old patterns. You're, you've got another option and you're not really entertaining that option. It's not that one. There's someone else. There's someone else that um, likes you and uh, they might pop up and you'll go, oh, yeah, I know who you're on about or it might come into your reality. So, yeah, there's options. But to be honest, I don't know if you're going to engage in that option. You At the moment, you're just working on yourself, on your money and Think, uh, this is what I'm getting. You're thinking about, okay, this isn't changing. I think the door's still open. At this time, it isn't closed. If they turn up tomorrow, listen, come on, let's go and see. I'm taking you to the baby's mum to pick up the kids, right? 
there's a picture of let's take a picture of all of us on the social media i'm putting on facebook i'm dating i don't even know because i don't even know if they have that but you know not single right dating and all this kind of thing you're you're you, you at this time you're you, you the divine feminines man or woman will go back if that happens but at the same time the divine feminine is like doubt that's gonna happen never fucking happened had so much defensiveness about that normality of a relationship you know there's a billion other people who are not like this twin flame because you're coming out that twin flame you're not in that twin flame energy anymore divine feminine not the masculine and <laughs> masculine's in it thick Divine Feminine is more, like I said yesterday, soulmatey. So you're now thinking about having that with someone else. Um, because it's like, I would still like it with Twin Flame, but I doubt that's going to happen. That's what you're doing. So, okay, I'm thinking about future with someone else. But there is options. I'll see if they say what to do with these options. <clears throat> um, I think it's just a distraction maybe for you. Like I said, some of you like that relationship thing and you might... Think about going back to your twin flame, sleeping with them, just being friends, going to cinema. Trust me, they will do that forever. This new person, there's potential of uh, being in a relationship. So that might be for some of you, but I don't know. I, I might have to go into that, but I don't know why I'm not getting to go into it, but I'll see. So let's see what's going on. Because I'm saying to you, new person, there's your twin flame and there's someone else. You're automatically thinking of, oh, I know that's a, a someone else. It's not that. There's another. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> there's another person, right? And you might be, nah, there ain't. There is. There is. And you're just forgetting about them. You're not entertaining them. You've put them at the back of your mind. You've, you've turned them down for whatever reason. But there's someone else, definitely. all right let's jump in andrea said to me yesterday sent me an email she's like oh which is quite nice she's like it's, it's nice to have mission because we can all talk to each other about our situation with our person what we're doing our projects she said is there anything else we can do for you guys i'm like do you know how much fucking stuff we do no one else does anything else you lot jump onto this opportunity of stuff for us to help you. I don't know who, Andrea, you probably agree. Who do they talk to? Who do you lot talk to about this situation? Right? <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you keeping yourself busy doing? Your person's just accepting now that it's you. That's what I feel as well. <clears throat> They was it's not like they weren't saying it was you before, but they were resisting. There was like, oh, a seed of doubt because they were logicating love, right? So that will be a seed of doubt. But people who logicate, how can you logicate electricity? You can't see it. How can you logicate this internet, right? How how can you what what is where show me the internet, right? There's no logic in it. So logic isn't everything. Two and two equals four, yes, but there's still the heart, which is unseen, that you have these feelings. Logic eight, show me what feelings are. And that's what this uh, time is for your divine masculine to learn. It's more than just that. <sighs> okay. Elm Street Studios with their songs. Biggest, um, oh, is it dancing on, Strictly. It's more than Strictly. I'm always saying Strictly. I think Big Brother's coming back out and all this. But anyway, Six of Cups. Strength. I've got two strength cards. This is sexual energy. The Fall. <clears throat> okay. Six of Cups is the contract.
this is <laughs> this is both of you like i said you're thinking about longevity right you're thinking about longevity sorry you've blurred i can't see because my eyes are blurred anyway but the the uh this side uh, oops here with the elderly couple but like i said you the divine feminine you're thinking about it with someone else and when i say someone else you're not there's no one there you're it's like you're single and you're thinking it's like this is it you're single you're thinking single and you're like i'm ready for a relationship now because i want to settle down you're thinking about it, not with a twin flame that's what i'm getting here because they're not changing doesn't mean you don't love them you're still not because that's why i'm not feeling you're going to with someone else some twin flames yes has just closed that door the twin flame and gone to someone else right but generally it's about giving yourself time because you're still connected you still love that person but like i said it's like it's like you um you want to be a fireman and they say no right <laughs> you can't do it you're too short you need to be a certain height to be a fireman you still love that to be a fireman just because they've said no that's what this is with the divine feminine you're still in that love frequency but you know it's a no right because they're not making any changes uh, strength calm i feel your person this is a, your person is this was the Tiferet, wasn't it? I feel um, it's kind of like they're seeing the beauty to you, to to you. And that's not just your face. <laughs> not your features or you know you're beautiful the, the 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 beauty of how you can it, this is going to sound so fluffy but you know when you go out and you see flowers you see flowers and you see trees and you walk past them every day and then you actually see a tree you're like wow i've been living here for this long and these these trees have been growing here it's like they see the beauty in this connection because this connection, because the Six of Cups is here, it is fucking amazing. There is no other connection like this. It's like when I think about it and I'm like, I would hate to say, and I'm not saying this, but at the same time, it's kind of like, let David go and get someone else for him to recognize this connection. It's not necessarily me, this connection right how, how to value it because he's not valuing this what we have at the same time but they do have that they don't have to because they have that with third party so they can tell the difference but this was about them knowing the difference yeah nine of swords the third party still again here and not having the strength to change it that's getting into the masculine but like i said i feel with this strength card it's a bit different they're looking at things differently to then go change it which is the contracts doing that because they realize all their bliss this is bliss the fall is <laughs> it's yeah it's it's really like the um it's what i'm getting is kind of connected well obviously because the energy is only yesterday it's like they're buying stuff this isn't drugs, weed, alcohol, nothing like that. Stuff, right? Or doing stuff, going to the gym, working loads of hours, buying stuff, but they're still feeling lack with a fall. 
it's foolish than buying it because of it's like what what's the point it's like me like getting depressed and upset because i've separated with someone and just go keep going on a, a, a spending spree to buy loads of dresses and makeup and get my hair done and i'm like well i'm just at home it's kind of triggering them because of it's what they want to share that experience and that's what i'm saying with the strength card it's like they see the beauty of what you was here for to share the experience with the six of caps and i'm not saying our relationships are better than anyone else a twin flame i've got to make this clear a twin flame is to show what relationships should be because most relationships are fucked up right this isn't about twin flame relationships the best most relationships are shit we are here to do what this person is now thinking of what you used to think this relationship was. They're now where you were, right? Two of pentacles in reverse, nine of swords, page of cups. Yeah, they're definitely waking up to the fucking small shit that they gave you with a fool. Kept coming up giving you small, small small it's like the universe the six of cups the contract is like well who the fuck are you going to give the big offer to matey what what are you waiting for because they come with a page of cups right stupid silly right don't care look at this fish right here that can just slip out the cup go into the sea right this guy is joking around look at his suit he wouldn't even know if the fish went you're the fish right <laughs> metaphor and it's like wh what were you waiting for a better love than what you had to then offer it to everyone to waiting for someone else to come in so you would then go to baby's mum it's like waking them up to no you was just being selfish and keeping them as uh, you you me as a side whore right there was no because there was a fake delusion of when 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 things are better it's like the bet is fucked up because you kept giving small this is what they're waking up to there was no like and it's like a self-sabotage of someone who keeps um and i say that and and this is what they're kind of doing like um like my projects like i say i'm doing my projects I was, I, that's like me thinking of a name for my new project uh, getting a website and buying all the stuff and um, getting my apron, right, and getting a mask. I got my mask yesterday because the paint fumes fucking hell, they give me a headache. So I had to research a day for two masks. Getting all that stuff and doing fuck all. And then like, okay, I've got all this stuff, so do you know what? I'm going to go and do uh, knitting. They're getting all the knitting sticks and getting all the wool. That's what they kept doing. And it's like the universe is like, when are you going to fucking start something? Oh, when, when, when it's it's not time yet or it's not right or something like that with a fool. And it's like, now nah, you just need, it's like they're recognizing their lack. And it's their lack, and that's the correct way of saying it. Two of pentacles in a red, two of nine of swords. Two of pentacles. Two of six of cups, actually. yeah it's kind of showing them how they controlled everything i've always said from day dot dot that your person no one can control you say someone came up to me and said give me all your money it's still in my control to give all the money right if like other people say your person is narcissistic because they tell you what to do you don't have to do it but in this situation, why the Divine Masculines are shitting out, because they are controlling things that are out of your control. You see, if someone comes in and says to you, you're a fucking idiot, you can choose not to talk to that person again. 
There's something here that they were kept. The dangle was, I will do it. Either say you're not going to do it or you will do it. The I will do it was the fucking out of order with the two of pentacles in reverse with the nine of swords next to it. Are you or aren't you? That's manipulation when you're going, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, right? That's what the problem is. And that's why you're gone because you're not even in this reading. I already told you, you're out. You've disconnected. I felt that this morning. A disconnect. It's like they didn't want to hear about the third party. You see my card? Gosh, I've got to get this to... Uh, uh, oh, wow. Uh, you see, um, she's got her hand... Let's see if I can hear it, Over uh, her ears. This is your masculine... Didn't want to hear fuck all to do with the third party controlling them. No, no, I'll do it. My, I don't want to hear. They didn't want to hear it because what you were saying meant that they had to have the strength to uh, cuss out. You see the lion roaring, the third party because they are the nightmare. So they, they just didn't want to hear what you were saying, which created imbalance in this twin flame contract, hence the contract ended. I'll see you in the next reading what their next step is. And actually, oh, I can see that now. Let me ask. Let me clarify, as you lot say, but I'll clarify with upstairs. What I'm getting now is they're like, it's like the contract is, fucking hell, this is so fluffy. You know when you see a film and they're like sitting on the sofa and someone's just weeping and they're watching some, someone on a, a, a projectory of, of a film of someone they loved? And they lost that person because they're crying or something like that. Uh, you know, like they might have passed away or something. I hope that makes sense. So it's like they're projecting in their mind images of nice stuff that they've done with you. Happy times and all this kind of thing. Right? They're thinking about you. They're, they're, they're thinking about what they would say. They're talking to themselves, like talking to you. There's a lot of projectory is what I'm getting off you. And that projectory then will be, well, I need to go get you. But at the time, it's just like the universe is trying to get them to the strength to see what they have lost. So, in short, no action. <laughs> no. But it's much better from before. Before they were del they, they were this, not listening at all, right? They knew you how special and important you were, and they were just playing you down, right? I don't know how to. No, I can say it like that. It's like you. They were dating Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, and not fucking telling anyone, hiding them. <coughs> fucking throat see they need to still speak to people and you about it and but you knew they were brad pitt angelina jolie and you appreciated them you tried everything you were bending over backwards you was um uh to to hold your tongue to do just to see them and stuff like that because how they were seeing it, it's like you're not doing anything it's like how can you be not doing anything you're staying over here as a side dish that's a fucking lot to do, right? To put up with. They, that it's like, like I said, they were logicating. Well, you're not doing anything. Well, that's what I'm saying with this titheret at the beginning with the heart space. Well, emotionally, I put up with a fucking lot. I wasn't on your social media. None of your family knew. Didn't um, still. Uh, I'm your side piece. Whilst you're married, your your um. You're not introducing me to your kids, so you're devaluing me. Not introducing you to the mother, which most people know that you don't introduce the, uh, the girlfriend to the mother that you don't want them to see. So you've devalued yourself even more. It was emotional. There was no logic. And that's what this is saying. 
because they were logicating well you, all you're doing i'm just coming around seeing you there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> that's what they were logicating they weren't seeing it from your perspective i think like i said in this other reading they're chucking in family as well for them to get kicked up their ass of you're just um fucking over your family because they keep going it's about the family and it's like no it isn't really i weren't great with my mum but if my mum turned around and said to me, I, I had a relationship for five years and I didn't know, I would think that's fucking weird. Why didn't she tell me? They're, they're not, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're logicating, keep you as a side. They're not hearing it. But even to their kids, they'll be like, you would. And like I said, I didn't have a great relationship with my mum. But if, she, if I just found out that she was seeing someone, on the side five years i'll definitely think why didn't she tell me this is them being selfish and this is what they're waking up to i don't think they're waking up to that logic uh, that they're waking up to what they've lost like the happy times you coming around chilling you energetically align them and make them feel at ease right they they, they offload on you that kind of thing they're missing right <clears throat> that's what is kind of happening oh tell i feel mm, i feel they're connecting with you energetically as well and i feel that connect is <laughs> it's weird because it, that connect is a disconnect they're connecting with you that you're disconnecting from them <laughs> i'm just saying with telepathic communication they're feeling you're serious. They're feeling you're going. They're feeling your disconnect is what I'm getting with that. <clears throat> Let's see if these are long. I'll see in the other reading if I get what, what's their actions, if anything, whatever, like that, a bit more. Ooh. <laughs> That's definitely your person because I feel with the Divine Feminine's if I said, do you love your person with this separation, how they're, they're staying over there and what they've done, they're not staying. It's like you would say, I have love for my person, not I love them right now. And I'll tell you why you're disconnecting. As I always keep saying, the time delay. You've made it perfectly clear to your person what you want. And a real relationship, a real loving relationship. If you're saying to your person, you're unhappy, you're hurting me, you're treating me like a whore, and blah, 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 all the things that you say, the person that you're with should be shocked in horror and done everything to change that. Because they ain't doing that, A, eh? and because they're taking their sweet-ass time, if they come back, that's why there's no love. That's why you've disconnected. And that's what they need to know. That's why this I love you is them. Because you didn't do any of what they're doing, right? Right? The stuff they're asking you to do is stupid. You are the star that outshines all the others. I said the contract is whooping their ass to see that you are the one. <clears throat> I fear you will reject the real me. I feel um, with your person, there's a charade with this card here. There's a bit of a charade because they can large it. And I say this to mission people, and I've even said it to David and in this video. David can easily come up to me and say to me, I don't want you to meet the kids because baby's mum is a fucking nightmare. I said to him, right, I've not spoken to Leanne. <laughs> Sorry, but I haven't right or the other uh, that's his baby's mum or to um one of them or to uh, i've spoken to one of them but the other one right so i don't you could be just spitting shit right i i don't know and that's not calling him out but i'm saying this is this with i fear you will the, reject the real me so they can basically chat whatever they want. And that's what I say to mission people. When your person comes and starts saying this, this about these people, 
Don't be foolish and naive and just go, oh, really, are they that bad? Because that person don't know shit. They, if they're doing it to that person, they could be doing it to the person over there. Right? And saying the same stuff about you. Maybe mum saying to them, the wife, the husband saying to them about, oh, um, I've heard you're with someone or something. Ah, oh, nah, don't worry about that. She's a nightmare. She's obsessed with me. She's just on YouTube, always saying she with me, but we, that I ain't met her for months. Do you see my point? So that, that's what I'm getting with this. You, you, they fear you will, will reject because you, they've kept you decent, um, separated from this other life. What are you going to find out? That's it. Oh, I go around and I and I spend a thousand pounds on the kids and I brought them a bike and a TV and pay for their TV license. When you get into that world, no, I don't get jack shit. <laughs> Last time he saw me, the kids, what, six months ago? That's this with this. So there's a bit of that because they can big up and, and say what they want because you're not part of that life. And that is part of why the con contract pulled away the divine feminines. Because it's not like it was to just do with um, the baby's mum. It was this, this facade that they were creating as well, right? That they started um, getting into this toxic pattern with that. So they pulled you out. Now, that's not all for all of you, right? And it's not as bad as how I'm saying it. But at the same time, if you're not engaging in something, how, how do you know what your person is or isn't saying about you? Because I tell you what, you know that that person now knows about you, right? You know that. So if that person has said something to your, to your person, what have they replied? That's this. When you talk to the baby's mum, yeah, I asked him about you and he said no. Oh, if baby's mum found out about you, if my wife, my husband found out about you, that'd be great. Then I could then open up, right? But I'm not going to do it. So that's what I'm saying. There's definitely something like that. There's underneath hidden thing. And that's why, like I said, it's getting into a shit storm, right? It's getting worse. So they closed it out. Let me see what else I get in another reading. If I don't put up another reading, it's the same energy I've got in this one. But if there is another reading, check it out because I'll go into more details of what's going on in your situation. Speak to you later.